Obama opened up something that we're seeing now taking place through the Biden administration. But I want y'all to catch this because this ain't about being biased. This ain't about choosing a side. But you got to choose God's side if you are on God's side. Listen to this. Now, I want y'all to understand something, right? So he talks about that the principles that's in the kingdom must take place right here in the earth realm. So y'all got to understand. So the idea that we can separate God's kingdom from our earthly laws is a deception. The kingdom of God is not just a future reality. It is a present one that must be reflected in the laws in the politics. Now listen to God's command to obey his authority that was established here. Go to Romans. Romans chapter 13, 1 and 2. I took good notes for y'all because I want y'all to get this. It tells us that all authority comes from God. All authority comes from God. And those in positions of authority have been placed there by him. I want you to follow him. This means that the laws of the land, when aligned, when aligned with God's word, are to be respected as they reflect his will. But this also means that those who create and enforce laws should be kingdom minded. Oh my God, let's stop right there, right? Ensuring that what is legislated aligns with God's principles. If we separate God from governance, we risk endorsing laws that go against his commands. And this is where the enemy gains a foothold. Now, these are my notes because this is what God revealed to me. Okay, I'm going to stop right there because we're going to talk about the danger of division. And we're going to talk about Christ's headship over all things. Understand something. The enemy has tricked believers to believe that the governor and the church does not go together. But God says that it is his leaders that's supposed to be put in place. So those of us as believers, we are supposed to be voting his leaders in place. Now watch how the trick happened. So the enemy tells the church to stay out of the government business and the government to stay out of the church business. So what happens is this. The Bible tells us that we are to obey the laws of the land. And so what happens is because God's people be begin to exit the governor system. And now we got devil for folks that are in the governing system. And so now the devil said, let me be smart right here. I'm going to put my people in control of legislation. I'm going to put my people in control of policies. I'm going to put my people in control of laws. And then God people with their lack of understanding and their deception, deception that has happened to them, they're going to have to follow the evil laws that I put in place. So we as the people of God are supposed to put godly people in position to make sure that Jesus left that one piece of powerful prayer is that God's will that is in the kingdom has to happen in the earth realm. And the only way that happens is where we allow Jesus to be ruler over all things and that we put people in position that are kingdom minded. What do we have today? We have a mess because we have folks who is trying to separate God, God in government, God from the, um, from the, from the schools, God in everything. And it's totally a deception from the enemy.